Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is John Anthony C.H. Meltzit signing back in again with a new uh, commentary on uh, on Red October. <laughs> no, not the fuck, no. Yeah, Red October Factory. Play like it's uh, uh, we are defending once again. Um, <sighs> yeah, and I'm playing as uh, as the Russian commander again. And uh, just uh, yeah, to start with, uh, what you saw there was uh, the defensive. Uh, Deployment of uh, artillery uh, on Red October oh, factory. Uh, once, uh, once the team is, uh, the once you're on the defending team, you're gonna be uh, attacked on your right flank straight away. As you see right here, Russians are rushing. Uh, Germans, sorry, are rushing the right flank like a uh, madman, uh, and that's a valid rush uh, attacking tactic. Uh, one of the best tactics to capture A straight away. Is uh, is to rush it on the right flank, but uh, if you think about it, uh, everybody knows that you're gonna be attacking the right flank. So is that ne uh, necessarily the best thing? As you see right here, I'm uh, I'm calling an artillery straight away on the uh, on the defending right flank, as you see there on the map, and that's kind of a problem uh, for the attacking team because they're not gonna be able to move up. Although if you were not as fast on the, the, on the uh, bottom left. buttons uh, to get that artillery down straight away um, you might as the defending team uh, run into some problems because the Germans or the attacking team would be able to, to bomb rush you straight away but uh, in this case they're totally not able to so what I would recommend is uh, if you're able to rush the right flank uh, or the left flank as the attacking team straight away do it uh, you can get the A cap within uh, a few seconds uh, if not uh, you need to spread out and you need to recognize you need to recognize that the artillery is falling and when you recognize the artillery is falling then you need to um, then you need to adjust your plan and try and move in uh, on yeah, one, one, yeah, either yeah, up the middle or hitting one of the other flanks because as you're seeing right here you know we are ha we are dealing out some serious punishment yeah, uh, on this especially this map uh, I actually do not know. I think the attacking team put down artillery in the middle, but a, a tactic as the attacking team would perhaps be to put down artillery on the on the attacking uh, right flank. Uh, sorry, on the attacking left flank, kind of to uh, to uh, to yeah uh, to kind of uh, get rid of uh, the guys. And you see, I'm placed myself on this little ledge here, right here, able to cover a lot of the area, even though I'm using the same submachine gun as the on the last map and I'm, uh, I'm able to kind of pick off guys um, getting uh, getting some good kills um, yeah watching out That's a good. bit um, and right there a tactical reload gone bad uh, where did that guy go I'm not getting him uh, but uh, kind of guys keep moving you're gonna get and to the attacking team guys do not stick your heads in through that hole in the wall look at how many guys does it do it and I and I get him. I get him every time because I'm watching it. You need to get hand grenades over that wall and get rid of that guy. But look at that. Guys just standing right there not recognizing I'm up on the ledge. And they're gonna get hammered. They're gonna get it fucking big time. So guys do like not stick your head in through that hole in the wall. Please. Go around. MD left go side around. Well. That's just a pro tip. And they blow the door and uh, we're losing this. We just lost the cap. I'm not pulling back because I know, you know I can get a lot of kills right here and there you see the Germans rushing in and I'm getting and there I get it so I'm down uh, I force respawn and uh, if you know this map uh, the B cap zone is just as you saw there in the map the B cap zone I would recommend you just pause the uh, the gameplay and just watch the map if you're not familiar with this uh, map but uh, the B cap is just outside the A cap and pretty much impossible to defend so uh, what I always recommend is that you try and defend B from C kinda get down a good base of fire and, uh, and kinda try and hammer away uh, on this particular map uh, the Germans have two tanks and the Russians only have uh, only have uh, one tank. tank so uh, what I recommend is that the German tanks forever. spread out, and one German yeah, tank goes smooth, left smooth, and one yeah. German tank goes right because the yeah, Russian the Russian tank will not there. be able to um, cannot uh, be able to buoy on both flanks at the same time. And right there you see me actually picking up uh, anti-tank grenades 
because I am uh, wondering if the German tank is going to come this way. And in all those uh, crests and marine, marines, it's uh, pretty easy to get the tanks, but uh, you know, no luck for me. Uh, right, see, yeah, right there, I'm moving back in to uh, the sea cap zone. And as you see there, I'm called down artillery just in front of the sea cap zone. Just in front, because I know the uh, I know the Russians are go uh, no sorry the Germans are gonna be rushing straight up the middle. And guys, pro tip: do not always go up the middle. Uh, yeah, yeah, there you see me get friendly fired. fired. I don't know why, Can but uh, Z on it? Just light it up. yeah. But then uh, still, uh, as you see uh, in the kill feed, I'm still getting a lot of kills on the, that map. Um, and then we see a uh, bush wookie on the floor right there. Um, and again, guys, if you're a commander, move into the defensive cap zone, uh, or as attacking uh, squad leader, move into the uh, cap zone, so people are able to spawn of you. And th there you see it, guys. I know there's Germans out there, so again, pro tip, guys, do not stick your head out those windows. Stay back and let the Germans come to you. Uh, always as the defending team, let the Germans come to you. We as defending team, you do not need to go out there and kill the Germans. Let the Germans come into your uh, field of fire, and uh, I think we're gonna see this guy, uh, Sean Horst, or what the. Yeah. And I'm just watching right now to see if Germans are going into. And he gets it. I'm just watching. I know the Germans are gonna come this way. I just know it. And you see they starting to pile up oh in the cap zone. But on this C cap, it's very important for the, for the squad leaders to kind of stay back. So it's uh, uh, so uh, people are able to spawn on you, so they don't have to run from e I each flank, run back into the cap zone. Uh, and there we see actually a pretty good German smoke uh, screen on the left. Uh, oh, sorry, on our right, their left. And uh, I know because I saw the smoke, I know people are gonna be coming. So I just start uh, picking off. Uh, there was a guy, and yeah, I just start picking off uh, people lying there. Um, just uh, yeah, just bring on the pain, um, getting some good kills. And at this point, uh, we have uh, we have bled them a lot, uh, so it's pretty good. Yeah, and the Germans pro smoking on the German part, hitting those flanks. It's exactly what they need to be doing. They need to be hitting those flanks. And I I can hear the Germans. And that guy, do not stick your head out the window, guys. Do not stick your head. And a German. Uh, and I can hear the Germans all around me right now, and I know I know I'm going to die. I cannot hold this position forever, but I'm gonna stick it and see how many Germans I can get. If I would have gotten some reinforcements at this point up in the front part, I might would have been able to, um, you know, to defend them, yeah, for a longer time. But right there, get that guy and get hammered myself. So uh, too bad. And yeah, if you watch, uh, we're losing uh, C right now. Um, yeah, it's not, uh, but as you see, 11 minutes left, uh, we did good, the Germans, mm, I, they should, uh, you know, because uh, they're pretty much uh, fucked on time and reinforcements uh, at this point. Uh, you see, we're quite equal in tickets, and that last uh, cap point, E, if you know the map, E cap point is the most difficult to get because it's a two-story building with excellent uh, defensive uh, capable uh, uh, options. So uh, what I would recommend is hold them for as long as possible at C, and you see they start to cap it right there. And I try and move in and see if I can clear out some Germans. Uh, and there you see one guy, and it's not, yeah. Uh, and I should have stopped and moved up more cautiously. That's not. I hear the Germans. I'm too late. Yeah. And guys, now we come to the most important part on this map. Defend E. Look at the map. If you pause it right now, you can see E is easy to defend. D it's much more difficult. And what you see me doing right now is to drop artillery just in front of E. I'm dropping artillery just in front of E, as you see it right there on the map. Uh, and why do I drop artillery in front of E? Because I know they're gonna come this way. That is a funnel. That is a funnel of fucking death. So as the attacking team. I cannot stress this enough, as the attacking here. team, you have yeah, to move too many on E as soon as possible. If you do not take E within the first minute, minute or the first rush, and right there you see me getting uh, team killed the tank, and that's pretty stupid, but yeah, that's what's happened. But again, you have to take E, but you see, now I get artillery down, they're not going to be able to move up. Look at the kills. I'm getting kills right and left, and we're pretty much stuck in on E. 
you're not gonna get a good team off E. Uh, and again, for the defending team, look at all those windows right there. You're able to um, you're able to uh, actually shoot down into D cap zone uh, pretty easy, uh, like that. Um, able to shoot down into D uh, if you want to. So D, you don't have to defend uh, D. Um, that that uh, much maybe have one squad contesting D. That's my advice. Otherwise, get yeah, into E. Um, yeah, and just uh, get into E and just defend from E. Um, yeah, uh, what should the Germans do? The Germans should get an artillery mark in behind E, so we n we cannot reinforce E. And then the Germans should drive their tanks out into D field and start hammering the windows. If the Germans would have drove their tanks. Out to the out to D fields, uh, as you see on the map right there into D. If the Germans tanks would drive into D and start hammering the windows, because they should know there is always people defending inside the uh, inside E. So hammering uh, D windows with the German tanks. Actually, Germans could have one tank engaging the Russian tank and then one tank hammering uh, D windows with the uh, HE rounds. And and the, uh, the then you could actually, through. that's the way to take it. There you see me uh, actually deploying a machine gun right there to cover uh, the two staircases to make sure that the Germans do not get up here and, uh, uh, and clean us out. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, and no, we pretty much got the game in the back right now. Uh, we are so fortified, we are so fortified up here, no, the Germans. You know, they're not uh, right now not calling artillery, so... Um, yeah, they're not gonna be uh, able to push us off off this uh, off this point. Uh, yeah, uh, that's kind of the problem for the German team. They stalled on C. They totally stalled on C. So, what's the advice uh, for the attacking team? Get a, a, a squad on each flank, uh, a tank on each flank, and, and divide the squads out on the flanks and go on the flanks. Um, and and hit the flanks pretty hard because the middle. That's just a you know, the eternal death trap, you're never gonna get up the middle. Um, We're draining them of tickets. Uh, so what to do as German team? Flank. Yeah, flank it. Like keep it, it moving it. up the middle. Uh, not the middle, but yeah. keep moving the flanks if possible. But guys, it's very important. Those, side, um, uh, those sides are very important. It's very important to get a good base of fire on E-building. Almost see if you can cut off the reinforcements from the flank, uh, from D flank, with a lot of uh, with a lot of MG fire, a lot of sniper fire, uh, and again that uh, that artillery in the back is um, is pretty much crucial uh, on this map. But uh, as I was talking about before, I've seen a couple of times where people actually at this stage where the game is pretty much in the back actually move out and try and uh, try and kill off kill off the Germans and, uh, and that's a big mistake um, you kind of have to uh, you kind of have to bite the bullet and stay back um, so you don't uh, the game suddenly doesn't uh, change on you um, yeah and right there is gonna be a fun moment right now uh, <laughs> yeah look at that guy and did you see what that guy did uh, what person he's saying that was a satchel charge <laughs> and I clipped it right there but Actually, that German engineer came in with a satchel. That's a valid tactic, the suicide tactic. Actually, where you arm a, a satchel, Sorry. keep it in your hands, and just Sorry. run into a room full with, uh, with, the, with the enemy and just blow uh, the shit out of everybody. But uh, guys, uh, pro tip, I didn't follow it myself. When you see a satchel, stay way clear. It's gonna blow you up. And again, Sorry. as you see me right here moving up, um, some smoke grenades, guys. It's always a good idea to deploy some smoke grenades, kind of to uh, to screen your approach. Uh, like I talk about my tactic of uh, cutting off the reinforcements. Um, but yeah, guys. So I got um, killed with that satchel. That's uh, pretty much it for oh, um, for it. this time, and, uh, okay, and I want to thank uh, everybody for uh, the nice uh, comments on the that's last uh, video. Uh, just keep on uh, commenting on it, and uh, and I'll try to make it better. Uh, not to sound as, as uh, you know, as such a jackass, but um, watch it, Anthony. Lay yeah. it in. That's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I'm gonna let you watch uh, the rest of the last, uh, the last uh, 15 seconds. And uh, yeah, this is John Ch Mulchet.
uh, signing out guys and uh, thank you for watching and uh, if you like the video thumbs up and uh, and subscribe to the to the channel there's gonna be more videos coming so uh, guys have fun bye bye Survivor! That's it. What the, the fuck? General Anthony dominates the board. We lost the campaign. Not yet. It might, it might feel sorry yeah, for us. Yeah, that's it. All gone.